we want to solve the system of equations by using back substitution. Notice how we have three equations with three unknowns, but because the third equation only has one unknown, the second equation has two unknowns, and the first equation has three unknowns, we can solve this by using what's called back substitution, which means we'll first solve the third equation for z, then perform substitution for z into the second equation and solve for y, and then finally perform substitution for y and z in the first equation and solve for x. So the first step is to solve two z equals negative four for z. So if we have two z equals negative four, to solve for z we undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by two. Dividing by two undoes multiplying by two, where two divided by two is equal to one, one times z is z. So z equals negative four divided by two, which equals negative two. Now that we know that z is equal to negative two, we can substitute negative two for z in the second equation and then solve for y. So using the equation three y minus two z equals negative five, again we'll substitute negative two for z, so we have three y minus two times negative two equals negative five. Simplifying, we'll have three y, this will be plus four equals negative five. Next step, isolate the y term by subtracting four on both sides. Simplifying, subtracting four undoes plus four. So we have three y equals negative five minus four is negative nine. And finally to solve for y, we undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by three. The left side simplifies to just one y or y equals negative nine divided by three equals negative three. So now that we know that y equals negative three, we can determine the value of x by substituting negative three for y and negative two for z in the first equation. So using the first equation, two x minus four y plus five z equals zero, we'll perform the substitutions. So we have two x minus four times y, which is negative three, plus five times z, which is negative two, equals zero. And now we'll simplify, so we have two x, this will be plus 12, and then plus negative 10 or minus 10 equals zero. Well, 12 minus 10 is two, so we have two x plus two equals zero. Next step, we want to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting, so we'll subtract two on both sides. Simplifying, subtracting two undoes plus two, so we have two x equals negative two. So two x equals negative two. To solve for x, we need to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by two. Dividing by two undoes multiplying by two, or two divided by two is one, and one times x is x, so x equals negative two divided by two, which equals negative one. So now we have the solution to the system of equations. And often we'll see the solution to a system of three equations with three unknowns written as an order triple, which in this case would be negative one comma negative three comma negative two. If the unknown variables are x, y, and z, the order triple will always be in the form of x comma y comma z. I hope you found this helpful.